For thus saith the Lord God, My people went down aforetime into Egypt to sojourn there, and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Now therefore, what have I here, saith the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught? They that rule over them make them to howl, saith the Lord, and my name continually every day is blasphemed. Therefore my people shall know my name, therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak, behold, it is I, The indigenous black people have a long history of adapting to the kingdom of darkness alterations done in the scriptures, history, and the beast system. We live in a world that is run by the kingdom of darkness via the synagogue of Satan. The synagogue of Satan is a network made up of workers of iniquity in the most influential positions in this world. The scriptures refer to the high-level workers of iniquity behind the scenes, assisting Satan as spiritual wickedness in high places. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The people who know nothing about the spirit do not understand the synagogue of Satan. Most people refer to the synagogue of Satan, the evil forces running the world, as white supremacy. Because most indigenous black people lack spiritual understanding, they process everything with a carnal mind and neglect everything spiritual. When the people view the world in one perspective, their vision is distorted. The scripture said we are not wrestling with flesh and blood, but with spiritual wickedness in high places. When the scripture said flesh and blood, the word of the most high is saying your battle is not with flesh, the things you can see. Your battle is spiritual. Your enemy is spiritual wickedness in high places. Do you know what happens to a people who do not comprehend their enemy? The exact scenario playing out in the indigenous black communities worldwide, regardless of bloodline, chaos and destruction. If the people cannot comprehend spirit, how are they connecting with the Elohim of Israel? The scripture said the most high is spirit. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. On one hand, we have an Elohim that is spirit and command his worshipers to worship in spirit and in truth. On the other hand, your enemy is also spirit. This enemy control every high position in the flesh. A people who do not comprehend spirit and associate everything that occurs with flesh is destined for failure. Our reality is both spirit and flesh. We are more spirit than flesh. The beast system has successfully disconnect the indigenous black people from all things spirit to disarm them. Therefore, the indigenous black people have no favor because the spiritual side of them is malnourished. Most do not know how to connect with the Elohim of Israel. Majority of them fight the spiritual wickedness in high places the Bible speak of in the flesh. You cannot fight Satan in the flesh. Fighting the kingdom of darkness in the flesh is like Satan fighting himself. If Satan casts out Satan, how can his kingdom stand? And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Fighting the kingdom of darkness in the flesh is giving Satan home field advantage. Spiritually blind people associate oppression from the kingdom of darkness via the synagogue of Satan as white supremacy. I often hear indigenous black people say their downfall is due to white supremacy. Your downfall is due to sin. Let me tell you something, indigenous black people. There is no way a species of people who live in fear, 
whose genetic makeup is inferior and does not have the favor of the most high on their lives compete with the people who is made in the image and likeness of the almighty, the creator of all, the Elohim of Israel. They can't beat you. The only reason they are ruling over you is due to sin. When sin enters your life, destruction and death comes next. Yeshua said it best. Are you not aware that I can pray and ask my father and he will send more than 12 legions of angels to help me? Thinkst thou that I cannot now pray to my father and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels? The kingdom of darkness and the synagogue of Satan can't compete against the army of the Most High. If the people of the Most High repent and submit to the Elohim of Israel, it is over for the kingdom of darkness. The workers of iniquity did not kill Yahshua. Yahshua laid down his own life. The other species of mankind use all kinds of mental programming and dark forces to keep you down. In addition, they encourage you to live in sin because they know sin separates you from the Most High and remove Yah's protection from your life. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Everything the kingdom of darkness does is to cater to your flesh. The lust of the flesh has always been the indigenous black people's downfall. Satan encouraged the indigenous black people to transgress the laws of the Most High. That is why the laws of the Most High are not supreme in the beast system. Satan and his children promote lawlessness to influence the indigenous black people to follow. By keeping you in sin, Satan and his children can steal your glory. Learn not the ways of the heathens. Do not be partakers with them. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. Sin opens the door to the kingdom of darkness oppression. Because the other species of mankind is the serpent seed, and the Most High said he would put enmity between the two seeds, what you see in the flesh is what the Most High said he would do, and prophecy is being fulfilled. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. While the indigenous black people associate the enmity between the woman seed and the serpent seed with white supremacy, the remnant can link what is happening in the physical or flesh back to the word of the Most High, the spirit. If the indigenous black people can open their spiritual eyes, they can solve the problems ravishing their communities. Satan's goal is to make sure the indigenous black people do not elevate to the spirit. If the indigenous black people continue to use the flesh perspective to analyze everything in their personal life in the world, they are not a threat to Satan's dominion in the physical realm. Matter of fact, they become a co-conspirator in their own demise. The synagogue of Satan is so much deeper than racism and discrimination. To unmask the spiritual wickedness in high places the Bible speak of, Racism and discrimination is the least of your problems, indigenous black people. I'm not saying racism and discrimination is not a problem. The other species of mankind disqualify and exclude you because of racism and discrimination. The kingdom of darkness use racism and discrimination as a distraction. The indigenous black people have a bigger and a more diabolical enemy the ancient fallen angel Satan has been hiding behind what you call white supremacy from the beginning. He is your mortal enemy and his kingdom is vast. The battle for your souls, the battle between good and evil, has been around long before the Most High created the indigenous black people in his image and likeness. The book of Revelation revealed to us that there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against Satan and his angels. At the end of that battle, Satan and his angels were defeated. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. 
And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. The scriptures reveal to us that Satan and his angels were cast out of the heavenly places into earth. When the Most High made the indigenous black people and gave them dominion on earth, Satan and his angels were already dwelling on this earth. That is how Eve encountered Satan in the garden and Satan manipulated Eve and her husband, Adam. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Satan and his angels were judged when the Most High cast them to earth. The scripture said, Yah made the indigenous black people a little lower than the angels and gave them dominion on earth. What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands, Thou hast put all things under his feet. To a prideful angel, giving another created being that is made a little lower than you dominion over the place you were banished is a huge blow. Here is an angel that want to be like the Most High and full of pride, observing a group of people made in the image of the Most High control the place they called home. Satan made it his mission to steal, kill, and destroy. He vowed to ascend upon the heights of the cloud to be like the Most High. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. Multiple generations later, Satan is sitting in the mount of the congregation in the beast system, pretending to be the Most High. Satan in the kingdom of darkness is gathering a large army to fight against the Most High and his people. The Most High prophesied about this battle from the beginning, the battle of Gog and Magog. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. It is time the indigenous black people feed the malnourished side of them, their spirit. The battle between good and evil started long before we were created. I hope the indigenous black people can begin to see the root cause to the animosity you felt your entire life from Satan and his children. The leaders, the spiritual wickedness in high places goal is to upkeep the indigenous black people's destruction. I hope the indigenous black people can channel the energy they have for white supremacy to the root cause of white supremacy. The kingdom of darkness lost their home and dominion was given to the indigenous black people whom they view as lesser being. Israelites, can you discern the spiritual side of your reality yet? Does not the people who rule over you view you as less than? If any man have an ear, let him hear. The Most High gave Adam the opportunity to name everything in this world. Whatever Adam named it, that was the name given. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air, and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. Today, we live in a society that is run by the kingdom of darkness through the synagogue of Satan. Whatever the seed of the serpent name a geographical location and the people they encounter is the name the whole world abide by. For example, Christopher Columbus naming the indigenous black people in the so-called New World Indians. Presently in the beast system, none of the land that are inhabited are called by their original names. 
Shem, Ham, Japheth, and their descendants have a habit of calling their land after their names. By doing this, it established an inheritance for their children and their descendants. These are the families of the children of Japheth, according to their cities and languages. When they were scattered after the tower, and they called their cities after their names and occurrences. And these are the names of all their cities according to their families, which they built in those days after the tower. And Seir, the son of Hur, son of Hivi, son of Canaan, went and found a valley opposite to Mount Paran, and he built a city there, and he and his seven sons and his household dwell there. And he called the city which he built Seir, according to his name, that is the land of Seir unto this day. These are the families of the children of Ham, according to their languages and cities, when they were scattered to their countries after the tower. And Moses brought their cause before the Lord. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, The daughters of Zelophehad speak right. Thou shalt surely give them a possession of an inheritance among their father's brethren. And thou shalt cause the inheritance of their father to pass unto them. The synagogue of Satan has changed the name to every land on this earth, stealing the indigenous black people's land and inheritance. With new names like Europe, Germany, and France, JFF indigenous black descendants do not know where their father's land is in the land of the north. The synagogue of Satan has removed those names to establish themselves. As the indigenous black people are waking up and unmasking the dark forces that surrounds them, the synagogue of Satan continue to change names. The scriptures must be fulfilled. The Most High said in the last days, knowledge would increase. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. As our knowledge increased, the synagogue of Satan continued to rename places and people, redefine certain words to keep up the charade. For a long time, the indigenous black people submitted to whatever name and legacy given to them by the synagogue of Satan. Because of the indigenous black people slowness to correct the false names and identity given to them, the kingdom of darkness was successful in taking the indigenous black people's glory. How come when the synagogue of Satan changed the indigenous black people's name, they did not destroy their legacy? They kept our legacy by transferring the indigenous black people's legacy for their own. What is hiding in our name? When the indigenous black people lost their name and were given a new name, they lost everything. Your name reveal your bloodline, legacy, inheritance, dominion, and future. Your name display your status and power. For example, if your last name is Gates, Fauci, or Biden, there is power in those names. All three of these names carry the power to change everyone living in this world's lifestyle. These three individuals called by those names had the influence and power to force mandates on the people regardless of how the people felt. There is a powerful family clan that is ruled by chiefs and princes. Remember, chief and prince are spiritual beings. In the case of this family, they are being led by spiritual beings from the kingdom of darkness. The royal family made sure to preserve their bloodline by carefully selecting who they breed with and welcome into their family. This royal family has been in power for multiple generations. The synagogue of Satan never changed their name nor allow anyone to conquer that family. The reason? A lot of power, wealth, and legacy comes with the royal family. How come the kingdom of darkness did not maintain the original name of the land they stole and the people they found dwelling in those places? If they allow the indigenous black people to retain their name, they are entitled to keep everything that associate with their name. As an Israelite, I am entitled to my family's inheritance, dominion, legacy, and future. When my ancestors gain a new name, everything about my bloodline and legacy became a mystery. I lost everything associating me with my family's bloodline. I became a descendant of slaves. I was stripped of my family's land, wealth, dominion, and legacy. 
the new name identified the slave master that tortured my family. The new name also gave my family an inferior legacy, despite the scriptures saying otherwise. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. The serpent seed carefully observed the tradition of keeping family wealth within their family. They transfer the stolen land and blood money they obtain throughout their generations. The children of the colonizers are benefiting from the money their ancestors generated from having slaves. But they are quick to say they never own slaves, but they are still benefiting from slave labor. If the indigenous black people are allowed to keep their names, the serpent seed has no choice but to give them restitution. That is why it is important to the synagogue of Satan to change the indigenous black people's name multiple times. Israelites, we don't want reparation from Satan and his children. Aim to benefit from the reparation the Most High will give to his people at the appointed time. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge. And afterwards shall they come out with great substance. When the synagogue of Satan strip the indigenous black people of their names and associate them with animals, despite being the only pure humans, a legacy of slavery and curses was given to the indigenous black people. Anything that is written about black people in the beast system talks about slavery and how the indigenous black people overcame slavery. There is no mention about our bloodlines. You must be careful with the covenants you make. With the indigenous black people accepting the name change, a covenant was established. Every time the synagogue of Satan changed your name, the indigenous black people renewed the covenant. The Most High warned his people in the scriptures to make no covenant with the people they live among. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. And ye shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. Ye shall throw down their altars. But ye have not obeyed my voice. Why have ye done this? The covenants the indigenous black people forge with the synagogue of Satan are evil covenants. These covenants are to benefit the kingdom of darkness and the serpent seed. That is why it is important to listen to the Most High and make no covenants with them. For example, accepting that all indigenous black people are Hamites and were cursed, that is an evil covenant established to bring forth curses into your life. When we accept to be called black, people of color, Negro, Africans, and the many other names our enemies has given to us, our bloodline was taken away, our inheritance was given to the other species of mankind. When we accept to be called by the names given to us by our enemies, we were reduced to a color and a product. It is important for the indigenous black people to not accept the name and false legacy given to them by their enemies. During the internet age, the indigenous black people gain a voice. The evil the synagogue of Satan intended with social media and the internet, the Most High has turned around for good. But as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass, as it is this day, to save much people alive. The synagogue of Satan censor and shadow ban channels like this while lying to the public about uplifting authoritative indigenous black voices. The only voices they are uplifting in the indigenous black communities are the voices that reinforce their agendas and forgive their wickedness. Israelites and indigenous black people, you should not accept anything less. The time has come for the people of the Most High to stop trading their glory for crumbs. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. The indigenous black people the synagogue of Satan is hiding in secluded places around the world can now speak up and talk about their culture and bloodline via social media and the internet. That is why censorship is at its highest right now. 
the whitewashed people that are promoted in the media is no longer the faces to the indigenous black people's land and bloodline. The synagogue of Satan is pushing the people of color name because the people of color name give the whitewash bastard children of the colonizers an identity with the indigenous black people. And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. The Most High play no games when it comes to his name. When the people call the Most High by strange names, they are calling on other deities. The pagan names you were taught to be the Elohim of Israel are demons in disguise. Baal is a prime example. The Most High hate the sin of idolatry. When you use other pagan names like Jesus and Jehovah, you are crying out to devils. And all things that I have said unto you be circumspect. And make no mention of the name of other gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. The Most High command his people to not take the name of the Most High in vain. The Most High said he will not hold anyone who does this guiltless. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. The Most High know the pagan names taught to you by the high-level workers of iniquity and religion are not his name. You would not answer when someone called you by a strange name. Likewise, the Most High would not answer to pagan names. The Most High said he will restore to his people a pure language. The language of the children of Satan is filled with curses and paganism. That is why English is the chosen language spoken by the majority in the beast system. But then will I turn to the people a pure language, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. When the indigenous black people became a color and a product with the names given to them by the kingdom of darkness via the synagogue of Satan, the indigenous black people lost their bloodline, history, inheritance, and future. The indigenous black people's stolen heritage became the children of Satan's new identity. This is why they believe they are the Israelites and the Egyptians. They will even fight over fictitious characters. I am glad to know that the indigenous black people will be restored. I am grateful that the Most High will reveal his name to his people at the appointed time. In addition, his true name will be written on their foreheads. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches, to him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth saving he that receiveth it. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. Israelites and indigenous black people, we must take the necessary steps to reclaim what belonged to us. When the synagogue of Satan and their descendants try to change your name and give you a legacy that don't belong to you, reject their pagan names and forge no covenants with them. We are more than descendants of slaves. As the original people of this world, made in the image of the Most High, we must take our place and utilize our resources to pass on our true names, bloodline, legacy, and culture to our children and future generations. To serve our Elohim in the spirit and in truth, we must know who we are. As we start to remember ourselves, let us do as the scripture said, return to our Elohim, repent and praise him. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice, with the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye, when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Break forth into joy, sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem, for the Lord hath comforted his people, he hath redeemed Jerusalem. <laughs>